Today we are going to learn about set and its representation. Let's start with the definition. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Set is a well-defined collection of objects. We know collection of objects. It is nothing but group of elements. But any collection is not a set. It must be well defined. That means there must be a rule to identify the object. Suppose I ask you to write collection of 4 integers. If I ask you to write collection of 4 integers. One person may write 1, 2, 3, 4 Another person may write 10, 20, 30, 40. Another person may write minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. Here the collection varies from person to person. So this is not a well defined collection. We cannot call this collection as set. Instead of this if I say collection of 4 integers between 10 and 15. Now the only possible collection is 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the only possible collection. So I can say this is a well defined collection and we can call this collection as a set. Similarly, if I ask you to write collection of two days of a week. One person may write Monday, Tuesday. Another person may write Thursday, Friday. Another person may write Sunday, Wednesday and so on. Here the collection varies from person to person. So, this is not a well-defined collection. Instead of this, if I say collection of two days of a week, starting with letter T. Now, the only possible collection is Tuesday, Thursday. So, this is a well-defined collection and we can call this collection as a set. Next we will see how to represent a set. There are two methods. One is roster form and set builder form. In either form we are going to represent a set with a capital letter. You can use any letter. In roster form we are going to list all the elements within the braces. In roster form, we are going to list all the elements. In set builder form, we are going to use a small letter followed by colon and characteristic property of the element. So in roster form, we are going to list all the elements in set builder form. We are going to write the characteristic property. Consider set of ovals. Let's write this set in roster form and set builder form. In roster form, consider the name of set and here we have to list all the elements. What are the elements? A, E, I, O, U. Let's represent this in set builder form. So we have to use a small letter. You can use any letter followed by colon. Characteristic property of the element. Here the elements are ovals. So I can say X is a oval. This is the characteristic property of the elements. 
let me consider set of integers between 10 and 15 let's represent this set in roster form and set builder form so i will take the set as b in roster form we have to list all the elements the elements are 11 12 13 14 in set builder form we are going to use a small letter followed by colon here the elements are integers between 10 and 15 so i can say y is an integer between 10 and 15 consider set of all letters of word mathematics let's write this in roster form let me consider the name of set as p let's write all the elements so first element is m next is a t h e here we have m but m is already present so we are not going to repeat the letter next is a a is already present we are not going to repeat t already present we are not going to repeat so next we have i c s so in a set elements are not repeated This set can also be written as A, T, M, H, E, I, C, S or you can also write it as M, H, E, T, I, C, A, S. If you observe, this set also contains letters of word mathematics this set also contains letters of word mathematics only the order is different so in a set order of elements is immaterial you can write in any order so in a set Elements are not repeated and order of elements is immaterial. Next we have the concept of belongs to and doesn't belongs to. If I consider any element say E. E is present in set P. So I can say element E belongs to set P which is represented as E belongs to set P. Consider I. I is present in set P. So I belongs to set P. Consider letter L. L is not present in set P. So we say L does not belongs to set P. Consider letter Q. Q is not present in set P. Q doesn't belongs to set P. Next we have 